Welcome back folks to a brand new video. Ask anyone who has ever visited and they'll tell you Japan is easily one of the most stunning places in the world. The country offers a full range of nature and culture from the subtropical beaches to snowy mountains, futuristic skylines to ancient temples. I think in this video I should have you covered. So let's take a look at 12 beautiful places to visit in Japan. Number 1. Mount Fuji So there is no doubt that Mount Fuji is a must-visit place since it's a symbolic mountain in Japan. Known as the highest mountain in the country, it fascinates plenty of people with its extraordinary beauty and its presence. You can enjoy the peaks from a distance, or you can take on the exciting hiking trails which allow you to explore the surrounding nature. But there are many other places to enjoy the stunning views of Mount Fuji. A few are as picturesque an area as Lake Kawaguchi. Not only is it remarkably beautiful, but there's also plenty to do in the area. Tokyo, a vibrant Japanese capital, where ancient charm meets that futuristic environment. On your arrival, you can experience the hustle and bustle of Shibuya Crossing a mesmerizing chaos, but then you can feel the calm and tranquility of the Sensoji Shrine, where time seems to slow down. You see, Tokyo is all about that feel-good factor of modern Japan, all waiting for you to dive in. And what's interesting is Tokyo's skyline, particularly in areas like Akiwara and Shibuya, with its bright neon lights and densely packed urban environment. It mirrors that futuristic cyberpunk aesthetic. One of the most famous and visited landmarks resides just under 30 minutes away from central Kyoto in Arashiyama, otherwise known as the Bamboo Forest. It's one of the most photographed locations in the world. It's the epitome of serenity. A walking trail through the Bamboo Forest is like something out of a fairy tale. And it can be relaxing and sometimes isolated especially if you go at the right time. But it can be extremely crowded, so choose your time wisely. Imeji Castle Also known as White Heron Castle, due to its elegant white appearance and is widely considered as Japan's most spectacular castle, especially for its imposing size and beauty and its well-preserved complex castle grounds. The castle is both a national treasure and a world heritage site. And unlike many other Japanese castles, it was never destroyed by war, earthquakes, or even fire, and survives to this day as one of the country's 12 original castles. Kisu Valley. The Kisu Valley or Kisuje is located in the Nagano prefecture and it runs along the mountains of the Central Alps. An ancient 70 km trade route called Kisuji was developed along the valley and served as a very important means of commerce in the area. Probably the most recognizable place in the Kisu Valley is the town of Araijuku, 
which sits at the northern end of the valley. The Narai is an easily accessible and quite likeable place to go. It may be a small town, but this post town feels mostly unaltered from the Edu period. Nara. Ishigaki Island Located west of Okinawa, Ishigaki is Japan's premier beach destination and it makes for a great base to explore the other islands in the archipelago. Home to beautiful secluded beaches, extensive limestone caves, forested mountains with great vistas and the opportunity to take part into some scuba diving. Now located just south of Tokyo, Ishigaki may not have all the shrines and the temples that the other Japanese cities have, but it has a solid reputation for some great nightlife, especially after a long day at the beach. Now we head to Miyajima, a scenic island which belongs to the Hiroshima prefecture. It can be reached by regular ferry services which will take you to the scenic spot on the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. And as you take your first steps into the island, you'll be welcomed by the friendly deer living there, similar to Nara. And there in the distance, the Itsukushima Shrine, an iconic Shinto shrine which was originally established in 1168. It's also widely famous for the floating Tori Gate, which refers to the symbolic giant Tori Gate standing in the water. And it is an impressive sight. Number 9. Shirokarago Located in the serene Gifu prefecture, Shirokarago is a captivating village that's frozen in time. Its UNESCO listed farmhouses, the steeped thatch roofs all resembling hands in prayer, and it stands as a testament to centuries of rural tradition. It's absolutely stunning. Surrounded by picturesque mountains, this historic site offers a glimpse into Japan's architectural past. I mean, you can visit during winter to witness the village that's blanketed in snow, but I think it looks far better in summer as it creates that tranquil and peaceful escape that we all search for.
now we come to a very interesting destination in Japan, Shikoku, one of Japan's main islands, and it's home to several historic castles that offer a little glimpse into the region's rich cultural heritage. Now, while Shikoku is not as famous for its castles as other parts of Japan, such as Honshu, it does feature a few noteworthy fortresses. For example, Matsuyama in the Ehime Prefecture, first built between 1602 and 1627. It's one of Japan's 12 original surviving castles, despite being burnt twice, and it showcases an impressive three story central tower. And the good thing is, there are plenty of other castles that you can explore, such as these. Number 11, Mount Aso. So, this is going to be a fun adventure if you decide to go on when you visit Japan. And it's a large active volcano in the center of Kyushu. The mountain's caldera was created by multiple gigantic eruptions in the distant past. And it's also one of the largest in the world. It's surrounded by a circular rim, and the whole caldera contains multiple towns and wide areas of rice fields. And right in the center stands the currently active peaks of the volcano. So make sure, well in advance, that you call up to double check if there are signs that it's going to be closed during your holiday. Number 12. Nikko. Located right at the heart to Nikko National Park, Nikko is set in an absolute spectacular spot amongst the mountains with lush forests all around it. It's incredibly scenic. The small city of Nikko is just north of Tokyo and was once the home of the Tokugawa shoguns. Whose wealth and power was reflected in the extremely elaborate temples and shrines in the area, and many of which are World Heritage Sites. And it's one of the main reasons why it's on this list. So, at the top of one of the things to do there, you should check out the Toshibu Shrine, and contains many extremely valuable sculptures. And there you have it, folks. 12 stunning places to visit in Japan, especially for your first time. And it's a revamp of the old video, which was quite poor, and I've added some new ones. For more videos, check out the playlist below, and I will see you all on the next one.